Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is <laughs> Sorry guys, my name is Nelly and I'm Owl Tarot and I'm here to give you guys a timeless reading. Um this reading is basically Sorry guys, I have the windows open because it's kind of warm today and um you can hear motorcycles and I think my neighbors are outside <clears throat> barbecuing. But either way guys, um this reading is for Taurus, Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs. Taurus, um, I'm doing this reading as a timeless reading because I feel that all of us go through something at certain times in our lives and a lot of the times we get mad and we feel that it isn't fair that what we're going through, it isn't fair that this is happening to you, but people seem not to understand and realize that things happen for a reason. Everything is destined in our life, and <clears throat> we're here to learn some lessons. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hang on, guys. I'm sorry about that. I'm so sorry about that. We're here to learn some lessons, and um, at times it can be bittersweet, but rest assured that you were put in that place at that time because there were lessons for you to learn, for you to continue moving on with life and experience bigger and better things. Okay? And with that said and done, Taurus, um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, please. Um, also, leave a comment below if this resonates. Guys, don't forget to check your other placements because I strongly believe that if you look at your, if you hear or listen to your other placements, you can kind of put this puzzle together and get a better idea of what's really going on within you know your personal life and your personal situation. Okay, Taurus, at the head of your reading, bittersweet, you are definitely going through something that unfortunately is bitter it's something that you don't want to go through but you've come to terms and understood that this is something that you had to learn a lesson that you had to learn probably some relationship that you were really connected with somebody married with or, or whatever it is you were meant to spend um the amount of years with this person but at the end of the day this was going to end up coming to a bittersweet because there were lessons that you were already destined to learn and when this this connection ended is because the lessons were actually learned okay now we're gonna go ahead and pull some tarot guys i am so sorry i might not even end up posting this video because i hate to hear me is sniffling and coughing and clearing my throat i so apologize i don't know i just feel like i gotta catch my breath I don't know if it's you, Taurus, or you might be sick. And I'm picking up on your energy. But let's see. Let's see what's going on. What's going on with Taurus? Okay, I just meant to grab one, but hey, here we go. This. Wow. You have the tempers in the reverse. I feel that with the situation that you're possibly going through right now or going you're dealing with right now there's a lot of imbalance um you might have attempted to have a new beginning with whomever you're dealing with but it never happened because i have the ace of cups in the reverse now the ace of cups in the reverse generally is <clears throat> excuse me guys it's being uh how can i put it like um, depressed depressed is, that's what i was trying to get out that word depressed the situation that you went through or the situation that you're currently dealing with is it's leaving uh avoiding your heart it's causing you depression it's causing you isolation but again this was a lesson that you had to learn and you have to come out of that you can't stay in that negative realm because you're never going to really understand why the situation happened and you're really not going to take the lessons that were taught to you because you're so in your feelings currently right now and you're depressed and you're isolated and you have to balance yourself out again guys remember things happen for a reason there's a lesson that needed to be learned in this situation the justice okay things are going to be clear things are going to be clarified they're going to be put back in their place when it's time okay and what i mean back in their place is that things are going to feel normal once again not that this relationship is going to come back to fruition not that whatever you lost is coming back to you no none of that things are going to feel right in due time 
if you are married to this person that you're learning your bittersweet lesson with, there's probably, you guys are in the middle of a divorce and this is why you're feeling depressed because you feel like you're losing your partner, your partner in crime. Like you're losing some form of stability here with this person, but rest assured that the time that you were to spend with this person in this lifetime, it's come to an end and there's it's time for you to understand what you were supposed to learn in that lesson and take it with you. Everything will be balanced out. There will be things that will be balanced out for you again. But you have to understand that you have to learn some lessons in regards to this situation, okay? A hermit. You're keeping to yourself a lot. You're hiding out because of these emotions that you have because you're sad. And I feel, that's why I feel such a heaviness in my chest at the beginning of the reading. And, and I couldn't be, I couldn't, I wasn't able to really get my words out because I felt choked up and that's what you feel. Like, I think that every time you think about the person that you were with, because I don't know why I'm relating this to a personal relationship, you come to tears. It really gets to you, weighs heavy in your heart and you have to understand that, yeah, you have to heal like all of us. We all have to heal of a heartbreak, but you can't stay in that energy forever. I feel that this might have been something that happened in the past and you have yet to release it. Because now, if you're currently in the divorce part of it, you're starting to open up those old wounds and it's starting to get back to you. That's why you've gone into hermit mode and you started hiding out from people and not trying to really connect with anyone. <sighs> Taurus. Seven of Cups. Really get out of your thoughts already. I feel that you're so into your feelings that you're really not... You're really not looking at the positive of this situation. I know it's hard for you to understand right now what can be positive of this separation or of this divorce. But there's a lot of positive things that follow after tower moments. See, people don't seem to understand. When you have a tower moment, it's the universe. It's God. It's your creator shaking up your foundation because there's something that's not working there. And it's time to shake it up and rebuild and restart. And this is your thing. You have to rebuild and you have to restart. You're in the Seven of Cups energy right now. You're so... <clears throat> and with the Hermit next to it, I feel that like you're so stuck in your emotions. You're, you're so isolated. You're not really trying to communicate with anyone. I feel that nine times out of ten with you, when you're at home, this is what you're doing. Just laying there and watching TV. Just laying there and thinking and thinking and thinking. Stop it. Stop it. Okay? Think. Things happen for a reason. And everything will balance out. You just have to learn your lessons. You have lessons that need to be learned. I don't know why I have to reiterate that to you so much. You have the nine of wands here. If you are currently going through a breakup. If you are currently in a separation. Don't take on this Knight of Wands energy. Don't don't become this egotistical man or woman that you're just going to sleep with everybody. Don't do this to yourself because all you're going to do is hurt yourself, okay? This Knight of Wands is a non-committal energy. This person is in and out of every single bed they allow him or her to be in, okay? Don't do this to yourself. If you feel that this is going to bring justice to you and by fucking around with the whole world, you're going to feel okay, you're sadly mistaken. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself because all you're doing is you're affecting yourself emotionally and mentally more. Four of coins. Stop holding on to the past. Things happen for a reason. Okay? You're in this path right now because it was time for you to learn this lesson. You're in this path right now because it's time to close a door to open a new one. So stop holding on to the past and all the negative aspects of the past. Six of coins. Okay, it's time to start balancing things out, okay? Even though you feel unbalanced, even though you feel like there's things that are missing in your world, it's time for you to start giving to others. It's time for you to start balancing your emotions out, start balancing yourself out, start communicating with others, okay? Stop giving your family and friends breadcrumbs of yourself. They do want to spend time with you. They want to do things for you, but you're so isolated and stuck in your feelings, you're just breadcrumbing your own. And you need to stop doing that. You need to start connecting again with your family and friends. The five of wands. I feel that you you get angry at yourself. You fight yourself. You Not physically, of course, but you fight yourself mentally. And you keep on telling yourself, but if I was like this, things wouldn't be like that. But if I were like that, things wouldn't be like that. Or if she was like this, or if he was like that, or what if I didn't say that, or what? Stop it. 
stop it because you're starting to confuse me. This needs to stop. This battle of the minds, this battle within yourself needs to stop. Because I don't feel that this is physical people arguing with you. It's you. It's you fighting yourself. It's you fighting yourself because at one point you want to blame yourself because of this connection came to an end. But at the other sense, you want to blame the other person because this connection came to an end. No, it's done already. The lessons in this connection is done. See, one example, guys. My son's grandparents have been together. Well, I usually tell them they've been together since the sun and the moon was created. These people, um, they're so funny because at times they'll sit there and they'll argue with each other, but other times they're, man, they'll defend each other to the end. And I always look at my son's grandparents and I'm like, man, what are we going to do when she is missing and he's alone? He's going to die without her or vice versa, okay? Their lessons in their relationship, their relationship, the things that they still need to learn aren't done yet. This is why God still allows them to walk in the world together. There's going to be a day when it's time for him to say goodbye to her or it's going to be time for her to say goodbye to him. Why? Because that chapter in their lifetime is done and it's time to part ways. We have learned our lessons and we have to move on. And this is the same scenario here, okay? Your chapter, your lesson within this relationship is done. You already have gotten what you got to get out of it. You already have gone through your fair share of lessons and lectures. And it's time to take those experiences and move on. Move on to bigger and better things, okay? Not to say, not to say that my kid, my son's grandparents aren't each other's bigger and better things. But they're, they're a lifetime together, okay? If I'm speaking to a younger... A younger Taurus here who still can date and have fun and go out and blah, blah, blah. See, you're done with that part of your life. It's time to meet new people, okay? Now, if I'm speaking to a Taurus who unfortunately might have lost the love of their life and they feel like the world has come to an end, no. You need to come out of that hurt memory. You need to come out of that depression because you still have family and friends that want to be around you. You still have people that want to share your laughter, your smile. There's still things that you have to live for, okay? So those are just some random examples, but I, I, I'm i hoping you guys understand where I'm coming from, okay? Now, let's get your final outcome, guys. <sighs> Taurus, Three of Swords. You're releasing the heartbreak already. I feel that I'm speaking to a Taurus that is possibly in the middle of a divorce. You're releasing the heartbreak towards this person. You're releasing that already because you're moving forward. You have come to realize that you have learned whatever you had to learn in this lesson. Things that needed to be known were told to you. And it's time to move on. Okay. Finally, with the hangman, you're no longer stagnant. You're no longer stuck in a place where you feel like you have no, no answers, no, no motivation. It's time for you to move on. And you've understood that releasing the heartache and understanding that the lessons that the le the lessons that needed to be learned from this connection have been learned and it's time to move on. Okay? Alright guys, I hope this resonated for some or for all mainly. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment below if it resonated. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.